Hi everyone, welcome back to another class. So in today's class, we're going to be experimenting something, okay? So anytime I have a job that is sublimation, I usually take it to a printing shop where they do it for me, where they have it pressed because that is the best method to sublimate, okay? So today, I just thought of using iron and let's see the final outcome. Is it going to work? Is iron going to work? For sublimation can we sublimate with iron can we start sublimation business with iron so at the end of this video i'm going to tell you my own opinion okay so i already have my hard work on this sublimation paper you will need teflon okay so for sublimation there's some fabric you need to use you can use any fabric just any fabric okay so you need a fabric that has a shiny face fabric like satin um scuba you know fabric that the f the surface is very it's shiny it's, it's smooth you know those are the, you can't use um cotton you can't use 100 percent cotton to do this kind of thing okay and also the color you can't use uh black color you can use all these uh dark blue you know it has to be bright color like pink like white like uh, uh maybe like sky blue you know like milk color something that is bright all right so we also need tape very important and also uh, the kind of tape you have to use is paper tape yes very important paper tape you cannot use nylon tape okay so for this project i i do not have paper tape at home so i am going to be improvising with something although it didn't work out at the end of the day i didn't like what i got but um i was able to do something so you're going to see how it look like so please stay tuned okay so i decided to use um a plaster that i have at home but it's the outcome i didn't like the impression that it gave at the end of the day Okay, so if you are um, using tape, your choice of tape should be paper tape. Paper tape and nothing else. Paper tape is very good. It will not leave stain on the cloth because the the nylon um, the plaster that I use left stain on the cloth. So please do use that <laughs> don't use that unless you just want to practice and just want to see if you can use iron and you don't mind if there's any stain okay so that is my hard work on the tote bag that we are customizing so it is important for you to tape it yeah it is important so your choice of tape i'm emphasizing it again because <laughs> Because I didn't like the uh, the stain that this plaster left on my clothes. I know it's supposed. I'm not. I know I'm not supposed to even use. Who does that? Who used the <laughs> plaster to uh, in place of um? Who used plaster in place of tape? Hi, <laughs> now only me. <laughs> but don't no worry. At least we are able to do something. Okay. So I just went ahead to put the tape so let me call it tape <laughs> to you know to secure the paper okay and why this part is important is because if you don't tape it down there is tendency for the paper to move on the surface on the surface of um, what you are doing you get and when it moves like that and you kept on you know applying it you realize that it will print in so many places to have double print which you don't want it to be you want the print to be on a spot hmm? and that is the beauty of it so you have to secure it get a paper tape if you want to do this get a paper tape yeah it's a lifesaver get the paper tape okay all right so make sure you put teflon on it very important too because if you don't put teflon you will burn your clothes remember teflon is heat resistant right so apply um, teflon okay this irony takes like um 12 to 15 minutes yeah so because you have to you have to be um, gentle with it and and the patient i mean let me use the word patient you have to be 
patient let the back of the paper turn golden brown before you can say yes at least you've done something if not you won't get the results that you want okay after after it pressing <laughs> for like 12 to 15 minutes this is what i got you see the back of the paper has turned to golden brown like when it was white okay so it's time to remove it let's see the way it is wow uh it actually works it works it works yes yeah, see the way it is and you can see what i talked about the the stain of the plaster even not for that this is nice this is nice this is nice you can see okay so for just diy you can use your iron but for business i don't think i would advise you to use iron to to sublimate if you are doing it for a big customer I don't think to be good but you can try it you know with this is my first time of trying it and this is what i got i'm sure if it was paper tape i used there won't be this kind of stain see it came out nice please also put um something at the middle to form a barrier in this case i forgot so please don't forget like paper just put it at the middle so that you won't have double print at the back too mm -hmm. This is cute. It's nice, isn't it? Let me know in the comment section below and you can try. Okay, we'll see you in the next class. Bye.